my camera always dies when I have one or two books left to talk about. Always. So annoying. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are doing my April wrap up video. I ended up reading 13 books in the month of April, which is kind of an amazing number, but looking back at my month, I was looking at the books that I've read and none of the books really stood out for me. Um, I have a lot of 3 stars and 4 stars, which they were good books. Uh, I enjoyed pretty much all of the books that I read, but none of them were amazing and I was trying to figure out my favorite book of the month. and I. I was having a hard time and I don't know, it made for a really weird month because I did read a lot of books and they were all good but not spectacular. But before we get started, if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please consider subscribing if you like anything book related, book hauls, TBR, wrap up video, um, vlogs, I do some reading vlogs. I would love to have you back on my channel and let's get started. So the first book that I read this month is Finley Donovan is Killing It by El Cusimano. I will say I really like this book. I give this four stars. This is a mystery thriller book but, but more of a mystery book and it was such a funny book. It's about this girl who's this author and she writes mystery thriller books and one day she's at a coffee shop I think. She's explaining her new book to her agent and there's this woman who like overhears her conversation and she thinks she is a like a killer, like a contract killer and she slip her a note with the name of someone and like $50,000 and basically saying if you kill this person, I'm gonna give you $50,000. And at that time in her life, she kind of needed that money. That's where the story picks off. And I will say, I really like this book. It was so, so funny. If you saw the, sh the show Dead to Me on Netflix and you liked that show, I think you would really, really like this book. It was very similar to it, like the vibe and how funny it was and just, I really liked it. It, it was really good. I think this is gonna be a series also, which I'm very excited about. So yeah, I really like this book. I highly recommend if you are into a funny thriller mystery book. The next two book I read in the month of April, I'm not gonna go into much detail about them because I do have a reading vlog for them and it is A Sweet Mess and Say Yes to the Marquess. These are two romance books that I did a a reading vlog for in the beginning of the month so I will link that above if you want to go check them out. Uh, I will say this was kind of average book. I gave this three stars and this I really liked. I ended up really enjoying it. I think I gave this four stars. This is a historical romance book which I don't read too much of so um I really like I really like this book. It was really good. So yeah go check out my reading vlog if you want a in-depth review on these two books. The next book I read this month was a reread and it was Confession of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. I wanted a really quick easy read, a funny read, so I picked this one up and this is um, this was turned into a movie a long time ago now and I mean it's about this girl who has a shopping problem. It's a series and I realized I never um, completed the series, I wanted to so I picked the, fir the first book up. I did not pick the second book up but I really want to soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is just, these books are just so funny. If you are in for a fast-paced, easy, beachy kind of read, pick this series up. It's really fun. It's really cute. I really like this book. There's not too much to say about this one, but it's, it's really cute. The next book that I read was Cool Future by Ron Martinez. I will put, put a photo right here. I read this book because I was trying to read some indie authors slash self-published authors this month and I picked this one up because uh, Katie Wismer talked about that book on one of her videos and she described that book as a like a dystopian book and she said if you liked all of those dystopian books like Hunger Games and Divergent you would like that book so I picked it up and it wasn't it for me. I ended up giving this like three stars. It was a good book. I liked it overall but nothing spectacular. My problem was it was I think it was going in too many direction for me the first half of the book was kind of a mystery book kind of because there's something that happens and you're trying to figure out what happened and who did that and then the second half of the book was more of like a typical dystopian books like the hunger games where someone is trying to overcome um the government or the society it is a it is a dystopian book uh, because it's basically a society where technology took over it's pretty interesting i will i will admit i thought it was pretty cool the way the the society worked but it just it, it wasn't what I was expecting and I, I didn't love that book as much as I thought I would um, and then after that book I decided to pick up the anti-virginity pact by Katie Wismer 
Once again, this she is a self-published author who has a YouTube channel. I'll try to link it down below if you want to go check her out. This is her first book in this duology, um, but they're like companion books. I think you can read them separately. But I ended up really liking her first book. It's about this girl who um, grew up in a very religious family and she makes this pact one day with her best friend to lose her virginity before the end of high school, basically. Um, and I, I ended up liking this book. It is a YA book. She's in high school and I think it's like harder for me to read stories about like girl in high school just because I am older, I guess. So it was a little bit young for me, but I like the writing style. I like the book overall. Um, and I, I really want to read her second book, The Entire Relationship Year, because I think that book is new adult. So I think I would enjoy that book a little bit more, I guess, just because it is older. But um, for her first book, I thought it was really cute and I really enjoyed that book and I'm really happy I read it, finally. The next book I picked up to read was Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. Um, I picked this book up like everyone else here on YouTube at that time because the show was coming out on Netflix and I wanted to read the first book at least before I watched this, the show because it's like I read somewhere that you had to read at least the first book of that um, of this duology and you would be okay to watch the show. So I picked it up and I really liked it. I really, really liked it. I was kind of on a fence because I did really like the first book in the Shadow and Bone series, but I hated the last book. Like the last book was kind of dreadful for me. I just did not, not, did not enjoy that book. So I was kind of hesitant to pick this book up, but I really liked it. It is very different than the Shadow and Bones trilogy, so if you did not like that trilogy, I would still recommend you picking up this book up. It is a heist story about this group of kids who are trying to complete a task, basically, um, without giving too much away. And um, I really like this book. It was really, really good. I'm really happy I picked it up, and I really want to read Crooked Kingdom now. I've heard that book is like heartbreaking, so um, I'm kind of hesitant to pick it up, but I really want you soon. So um, yeah, I'm really happy I finally read this book. The next book that I read in the month of April was The Rage of Dragon by Yvonne Winter. This was our pick for our book club, The Dragon's Library. I will leave the Discord group down below if you want to go join us. We are reading um, Jade City this month if you want to join our discussion. Um, I do have a separate review on this book, so I'm not going to go into much detail about that. You can go to you can go check out that review. Um, I like this book overall. It had a lot of flaws, I will completely admit, but I really enjoyed my reading and I had a good time reading it, which is why um, overall I'm, I gave this book 3.5 stars. I thought it was an enjoyable and fun read in the end. Uh, go check out my review if you want more information on that. The next book I read after that was The Midnight Library by, by Matt Haig. Um, I had heard some amazing thing about this book. It was all over YouTube at the end of last year. Um, and so I really want to pick it up and I had some high hopes for this book. And um, I liked this book. I thought it was a good book. It was, it was just not spectacular in my opinion. I think everyone loved the concept of the book and it was so new to a lot of people. It's about this girl who tried to commit suicide. This happens in the, the beginning of the book. It's not a spoiler. But she tries to commit suicide in the beginning of the book and then she wakes up in this library um, and this girl is saying there's there's like a ton of books and each book it would be another life if she had made another decision. So yeah, I think a lot of people loved the concept of the book and it was very new to a lot of people. However, I watched the show um, Being Erica. I don't know where it was, on Netflix I think. Um, a long time ago. It's an older show, so I guess not, not a lot of people knew that show. And it's exactly the same thing as this book. It's the same thing. This girl commits suicide, try to commit suicide in the first episode, and then instead of a librarian, it's a psychologist that goes see her, and then she, he makes her like list all of her regrets, and they go through one by one. So it's, it was basically the exact same thing, and I love that show, so there's nothing wrong with this book. I really enjoyed it. I just think I had too much high hopes for this book. Uh, but it was really good. I really, really liked it. But I do think it's a good book to read for a lot of people. So the next book that I read was Sheet by Brenna Thumler. This is a graphic novel. I picked this book up because of Ariel over at Reading and Whatnot. She had this in her recommendation for graphic novels. I thought it was really cute. So I just bought it right there and um, I read it. 
and it was really cute guys this was really really cute i really liked this book it was so sad and so emotional but i love this book it was i just i liked it the art style is like nothing like i'm used to but i just i don't want to spoil you but it was just so cute. I really like this. It's about this girl who's working at her at her family's laundromat and just just going through life and just surviving and not enjoying life and it's kind of a sad beginning and then one day she meets this little guy, Wendell, and he's a ghost and they have this friendship and it's just really cute. There's a second book that came out recently and I really want to read it soon, hopefully. I highly recommend this book. Just so cute. The next book that I read was called When Wishes Bleed by Casey L. Baum. I read that book once again for my indie slash self-published author list and I will admit I'm not like that book. I like the concept of the book. It's about this world where there's like wishes and house and there's this girl who has fate in her and she can read fate of people and then one day there's this guy who comes in and wants his and wants his fate to be read to him and then she reads it and she's like you're gonna die soon and then turns out he is a prince and he is hosting this competition to find his new bride and um, so it's very similar to the selection it's very similar to the hunger games because there's this district it wasn't my favorite i just to be honest i don't remember too much about that book like now that i'm talking about it i don't remember a lot of what happened in that book so yeah, sadly, I didn't love that book. It is a series, and I don't think I'm going to continue on with the series, so... Okay, so the next book that I have to talk to you guys about is Angel Fall by Susan E. I read this book because I was trying to read, once again, some indie authors slash self-published authors. This book came out a long time ago, like in 2012, I think. Yeah, It came out in 2012, which you could kind of tell. I did really enjoy this book. It's about this post-apocalyptic world well where angels came on earth. It's about this girl who loses her sisters to these angels and then she does everything to bring her sister back to go um, find her sister basically. Uh, it was really cute, I really enjoyed it but I think I would have enjoyed this book a lot more if I had read it when it first came out because you could kind of tell this is a older YA. Um, nothing wrong with those, I just think, you know, this was published eight years ago and you could kind of tell. Um, but I did really like it. I really like the banter between Penryn and Raph. I suck with names. Yeah, Raph. Um, I really like their banter. It was really cute, really fun, but very YA. This is a trilogy, I think, which I think I will continue on with the series. The audiobooks are free on script, so I will just... I think I'll just gonna read them like that. Um, I really liked it. It was cute, just nothing... Nothing spectacular, but it was cute. And then the last book I read this month was Every Vow You Break by Peter Swanson. I read that book because it was Gabby Reed's book club pick of the month. And um, I really wanted to read it so I could join on her live stream. And it was my very first Peter Swanson book. Um, I had never read anything from him before. And keep in mind, I do not read a lot of thrillers as well. Um, so I do think that... Um, helped me like the book a lot because I really liked that book. I gave this book four stars. The beginning of the book was so boring. I was this close to DNFing it um, but then I pushed through and then maybe 40% in the book I really enjoyed it and I thought it was really fun and it kept me on the edge of my seat um, from that point on to the rest of the book. I really, I really had a good time reading it but the first 30% read like a really bad romance book. I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of criticism about that book is it's very predictable and people just knew what was going to happen. So I think the fact that I don't read a ton of thriller book did help me like that book and enjoy that book um, a lot more than some people who read a lot, a lot of thrillers. Did I just give too much away? Maybe. So let's redo that synopsis. So it's about this girl who is engaged to this really rich man and then I think the week before her wedding she ends up sleeping with someone else and that's basically where our story picks off um, and I really liked it. I really want to read more of Peter Swanson book now. Yeah, I've been in such a thriller mood also lately. Um, I don't know, I, I'm just really enjoying thrillers lately so that was cool. So yeah guys, those were all the books that I read in the month of April. Leave a comment down below if you have read any of these books and what your thoughts on them or anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night depending on when you're watching this and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!